Hello everyone, welcome back to the Budget Sportsman. Today we are so privileged to have the Mrs. Budget Sportsman with us and we're at the Glendale Sportsman Club to do some 3D indoor spot shooting. To do some 3D indoor spot shooting. Now today we're gonna make it interesting by having a little competition between the Mrs. and the Mr. But to make it fair, we're not gonna do an equal 300, right? What are we gonna do? Your highest score. My highest score, whoever beats their highest score. So whoever beats or gets closest to their highest score. Now our skill levels and our experience is a little bit different. My high score is 285 out of 300. And for Hannah, um, she has been improving the last couple weeks. So last, before last time we shot, it was a 248. And then last time she shot a 269. So she really upped the bar for herself before this video. So we'll see if she can beat a 269 today. We've already taken a couple practice rounds. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, here goes the first three arrows of the competition. Neither of us have ever actually officially competed before. This is like really nerve wracking. <laughs> Good. My third shot was uh, a bummer. So I dropped three points. Uh, I don't like dropping three points. I dropped four. Who's gonna win this competition, Mama or Dada? Say Dada. Can you say Dada? Oh, seriously? Oh, an inside out X for Mama Sportsman. <laughs> oh, man. She is showing me up today. Over here, the second round, nine. And if I was shooting fat arrows, that would have been an X, but it's not an X. And a nine. So, nine, ten, nine. Shoots an X and then tells me I'm doing great. Hey, you have something pretty good up there. Oh, brother. I think she's trying to distract the competition or something. <laughs> After four rounds, I think I'm on par to shoot my lowest score, not my highest. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think I'm still doing okay. I only lost three that time. So yeah, you're doing good. Down three.
Round five was my first round to not drop any points. I need a whole lot more of those. Right now I'm ahead by 10 points. <laughs> but my high score is 16 points above her high score. This is not looking good for me at all. I just need to pick up, I just need more of what I just did. Yeah, true, true. And I just need to do what I did, but leave the eight out. Not make it a six, that's for sure. Not a zero. The opposition, that's the name of the game. <laughs> oh, this is getting this is getting intense right now, I'm telling you. Okay, gotta bring you down. We're on the seventh end, and Hannah just shot her worst shot. And it was almost a zero. That made me cry. Uh oh, sorry. But she's, she's doing so wonderful, and she's improved her score so much. I mean, because look at this one. Wait, <laughs> focus. Nice shot there at the end on number three to finish it all off. Uh. You're just happy because you have some room to breathe. <laughs> I can breathe, especially because over here uh, we have an X and an X and a nine. Uh, <laughs> who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, you just said mama, didn't you? <laughs> Child. Okay, we're after the seventh end. Hannah's score is 180, so that means she's dropped a total of 30 points so far. And my score is 197, so we've brought in the gap to 17 points difference. So it's really close, really, really close right now. Because my best score is 16 above yours, so we're like right neck and neck. Let me show you real quickly here what we use for our scoring. Uh, we're using this app on our iPhones called Archery Score Lite. It's a free version. And it's really cool. You just come in here into your target and you can zoom in and out. Uh, but you just tap where you actually hit with your arrow and it will automatically enter the score into your score sheet. It's really cool. It keeps track of all your X's. It keeps track of your total. And the really neat part about it is you can come back in the future and actually view that target and kind of see where your pattern was or how you did on that particular day. Keeps your total so there's no adding at the end of the scoring or in the middle of the scoring. You can just see your running total as you're going. Really neat little app, and that's what we're using today. All right, we've got three more ends. Let's see how this ends up. Killing me right now. She is killing me. All right, what do we got? Oh, ten. ten, nine, ten. All right, she smoked it over here. I got a nine, nine, nine. Oh! All right, so here's the deal. Two ends to go. Hannah is right now sitting at the place where she needs six more perfect arrows. 
not dropping any points to match her best score. I have, if I shot six more perfect arrows, I would be one below my perfect score. I would win. <laughs> so if we both shot six perfect arrows, 10, 10, 10, 10, she's gonna win. <laughs> That's close. That is really close. I'm not happy, just saying, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what though, like the pressure of this competition, I mean, we had better get some experience before we're ready for Vegas or Lancaster shoot or anything like that because... Is the pressure more than Vegas? <laughs> right now? Yeah. I've never been to Vegas, but I'm just telling you, the pressure about whether or not my wife's going to beat me, it's, it's up there. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's real, man. Seriously, you want to talk about drama right now? You want to talk about drama right now? Okay, we had a one point swing and points on that. I did horrible, I had an eight, two nines. She had a seven and two nines. So we had a one point swing, meaning now it's tied. If we both shoot perfect scores, we both are five points below our best score. I don't think we're gonna shoot perfect scores, but it still comes down to whoever gets the best score on this final end. I think I can do it. Talk about handle the pressure and our battery's about to die. I gotta run and grab a new battery. In the event that this actually ends up as a tie, is X the tiebreaker? Yeah. Now I honestly have no idea how many X's you have, but I think I have more. You want me to tell you? No, no, we're, we'll just see who <laughs> shoots this final round and then if it happens to be a tie, we'll count the X's as tiebreakers. Okay. That's stressful. All right, coming into the last end, I want you to leave a comment right now who you think is gonna win this neck and neck competition. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what you did, but I just shot a bad, bad arrow. And I wasn't totally ready for that one, whatever it was. I don't see it. <laughs> I think I, I had my finger on the trigger and I was like trying to really... Did you miss the target? Probably. <laughs> I'll let you read it. That might be the difference between me winning and losing. It's not letting me shoot three shoots ahead. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> well, go ahead. Don't breathe.
All right, so we just finished our last end, and boy, I don't even know what to tell you about this last end. It was a little bit crazy. I dropped a big old eight over here and a nine, so I dropped three points to end with 277. Again, that's like my one of my worst scores, actually. We just both started shooting into our three spot this year, and I've been shooting a lot of 280 to 282, and I happen to get that one 285. This is a very low end for me. Now, on the other hand, Hannah ended with a really good target here with uh, two nines and a 10, right? So I dropped three points, she dropped two, and your final score was two? 262. 262, so she's only seven points below her target goal. Now, here's I... the kicker. Go <laughs> ahead. I have a disclaimer. On my first target, I was really focusing and focusing on squeezing the trigger, not slapping the trigger, and my arrow got away from me and I shot right down here, a big fat zero. I was gracious enough to let her reshoot it, not thinking about the fact that that arrow could impact whether or not I won or she won. So as the original score stands, I would have won by several points. Having let her reshoot it and she knocked out a nine with that particular arrow, she ended up winning. Now, how many X's did you get? All right, I got six X's, which actually was good for me. Even though I got a low score, I got six X's. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, so anyways. All right, so I want you guys to put down in the comments who you think is the winner of this match and who you think should be the grand champion of the first ever budget sportsman husband versus wife shoot off challenge. I say we just have a big old kiss and then we're all winners. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely the winner on that one. Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that video. We had a lot of fun making it together. And uh, obviously we're not professional archers. We're just out having a good time with your standard bow hunting equipment and having fun doing it. Now, I'm really not the most proud of the score that I put up for this video, but I'm really proud of my wife. She's worked so hard over the last couple months shooting indoors to improve her scores. And it's also challenged me as well to be able to make adjustments to her bow and do things for her that I'm not seeing for myself. Usually I can see things on my own bow and maybe make adjustments, but for her, when she starts complaining about a peep sight or she starts complaining about the draw length or different things that I can't necessarily see or feel, we've had to work together to make some of those adjustments and it's been really rewarding to see how our scores have improved to now be shooting in the 260s and I think that she'll continue to improve from here. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.